Tea is the second most consumed beverage in the world. Second only to water, consumers across the globe are brewing, steeping and sipping tea every day. There are many types of tea, each unique not only in color but in flavor. Interestingly, these different tea blends all originate from the same plant, Camellia sinensis. The climate, location and the way the leaves are processed after harvest determines the type of tea that is created. Tea requires a moderately hot and humid climate. It grows best on well-drained fertile acid soil on highlands. The tea plant starts life as a seed or as a cutting taken from the parent plant. In India, they usually use cuttings. 9 to 12 month old healthy plants about 60 cm high are apt to be planted in the main field. During the rainy season, these cuttings are planted into the individual pits of about 1 to 2 feet depth. After three years, the bush is mature enough and is ready for harvest. Tea is harvested once in 15 days. This involves intensive labor for plucking the tea leaves. They pick only the two newest leaves and the bud. The tea plantation is regularly weeded so that the tea bush grows without any hindrance. The plucked leaves are examined on the collection point. The rule two leaves and the bud is strictly followed. These leaves are then transported to the factory for processing. The plucked leaves are weighed before the actual processing starts. Once the tea arrives at the factory, it is unloaded and checked for quality. First, the tea leaves are dried by a process called withering. This is done by blowing warm air over the leaves. The tea leaves are withered for 16 to 18 hours and it removes the surface moisture and increases the caffeine content in the leaves. The withered leaves are then placed onto a conveyor belt for the next step. Here the leaves are cut and shredded. The CTC method is used where the tea leaves are crushed, teared and curled. The shredded and crushed leaves are led into the fermentation drum where the oxidation takes place. Oxidation helps to develop the flavour of the tea. The process of fermentation takes about 20 to 30 minutes. The next step is the dryer. The dryer is fired up to 130 degrees centigrade and here the tea leaves are dried out completely. Next is the tea leaf grading. Here the products are evaluated and machine sorted into grades such as orange peco, broken orange peco and peco. The dust are machine graded into super fine dust, super red dust, red dust and peco dust. Each grade is then winnowed to allow only the denser particles to be taken into the package produce. Each of these is then loaded into 40 to 45 kg of tea sacks and it is ready to be shipped. <laughs>